Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Yeah, the man with the creepy text-to-speech voice is back. I still don't have a microphone, but I hope you don't mind. Today I am gonna show you the most easiest way to track your green screen footage. We don't need any third-party plugins. First, make sure that you have track markers on your green screen. Yeah, I really recommend it. LOL. Now, go to layer and create a null object. Then click your green screen footage and click track motion on the tracker tab. Check rotation and scale. For this simple track we actually need only two track points. Place the first track point on a marker on the left side. The second one on a marker on the right side. Now click Analyze Forward. Now where our footage is tracked go to Edit Target. Choose the null object we created earlier. Then apply X and Y. Now, our null object moves along with our track marker. By the way, if you can't find your tracker options, just go to Window and choose Tracker. Now take the pen tool and draw a garbage mask around our main object. Make sure that the track markers in the background are masked out. Press M and make a keyframe for the mask path. Then adjust the mask along with the movement of our actor. Now, let's key out the background. Go to Effects, Keying, Key Light. Go to Screen Color and pick the color you want to key. Depending on what quality your green screen footage has, you have to experiment around with the following settings. Go to Screen Mat. Maybe you have to increase the screen gain like in this example. Put the pre-blur amount to 0,1. Use clip black and clip white to get a clean white on black object. Decrease the screen shrink a bit, and increase the softens a bit. Go back to final result. It's hard to show you the right way to adjust all those settings because your footage is different in lightning and saturation. As a side note, there is also another way to get rid of the track markers. If they are black or like in this case white, you can increase screen desperate white and the markers will disappear. Now, let's import our background. Put it under our green screen layer. Adjust the scale so it fits in your scene. Now parent the background to the null object. Now the background moves like the camera. In the future I will show you some more advanced green screen tracking techniques. And I am gonna show you how to composite more assets and elements into a green screen scene. This tutorial is really very simple and shows the most easy way to track your background. I hope you liked the short tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe. Peace out.